Welcome to this huge unboxing video, the largest that I have ever done and um, in fact the only one that I have made. And so here it is, my brand new hoverware organ. It has traveled all the way from Holland to Denmark. It has been packed really straightforward in three parts. The console, the bench and the pedals. All parts are wrapped in black plastic with no problem whatsoever to unbox. As you can see, it is summer outside, but inside it feels pretty much like Christmas. Let's look at the bench. As you can see, I have chosen to get the organ in natural oak. But there is a plethora of other options as how you want the wood to appear. I have chosen a so-called standard bench with a neat detail of having a room inside to place my music scores. It's pretty spacey, super convenient, and storage is always a positive thing when you live in an apartment. The bench is adjustable, but you need to find a simple tool to get the height changed. And looking back, a handle would have made the setup a bit more seamless. Since I will be the only one playing on the organ, more or less, it doesn't bother me that much. As for the pedals, I have chosen what the standard is here in Denmark, a concave foam and 30 keys. One of the options I considered was getting the pedal sharps in a dark color, but instead I opted for dimmable LEDs installed under the console to give light to the pedals in the evening. And now, the star of the show, the console. Again, easily unboxed, and when you take a closer look, crafted with great attention to detail. Let's take a closer look at the console. I have chosen a Dutch company called Nordlander to build my organ. They specialize in hubwork organs, and in my case, there has been a delivery time around five months. One of the things that is cool about this particular model is that the normal touchscreen interface for controlling the organ has been hidden to make room for Nordlander's own touch interface. Their version is integrated into the furniture and expanded over two screens. The keys are Italian and they come from a company called Feta. I have opted for their TP65LW, which are keys that have wooden key centers ebony naturals and oak sharps. The glossy non-oak like surface surprised me at first but the quality seems fantastic. The organ comes with two swell pedals. The one to the left controls the master volume and the right functions as a regular swell pedal. However, not everything is pitch perfect. As you can see the organ has come with two minor bruises which is irritating to see right off the bat. Nordlander says that it must have happened during transport, but either way, it is an annoying experience. On the left side under the manuals is two connections, a 6.3 inch headphone jack and a USB 2.0 port. On the right side under the manuals, you'll find a sensor for the dimmable LEDs for the pedal light, as well as a start button. Very nice. What's great about this organ is also that um, the computer is integrated into the instrument. So it's all tucked away inside the console. And if you take just a, a look inside, you can see there is some connectors here and, and the power supply. 
When you take a look inside the console and remove the back, you'll find a top shelf where some miscellaneous stuff are placed. The most important one is the headphones, and these are the Biodynamic DT990 Pros. They are over-ear headphones and don't remove outside noise, and that is on purpose because I want to have a sense of my surroundings even though I practice. You will also find a keyboard, which is used to connect to the PC via a Bluetooth connector. After all, if something goes wrong inside the organ with the software, with the hub work, you need to have a keyboard and a mouse. I also ordered a headphone splitter so I can hear and record at the same time. Let's dig a little bit deeper inside the console. At the bottom, you'll find the computer complete with motherboard, fan, CPU and RAM. If we look up, we'll see the keys and the wires that connect the two touchscreens. What you can't see is the six internal speakers, which sounds just fantastic. Let's talk a bit more about the computer. This is a hexacore processor, complete with one terabyte of storage and 128 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, this has to house a lot of sample sets. In fact, I have bought eight of them. But why 128 gigabytes of RAM? Well, if we take a look at Nongxi, released in 2021 and currently one of the hottest sample sets, we see that it requires 83 gigabytes of RAM to run in the highest configuration. And if we look at other sample sets, we will find out that a lot of them actually requires a good amount of RAM. So to make this a future-proof organ, I have opted for the 128 gigabytes of RAM. When I ordered the organ, there was no question in my mind that I wanted the version with three manuals. After all, there is a good amount of organ music that calls for just more than two manuals, and that combined with the fact that I wanted the instrument to be compact and versatile, made it a no-brainer for me. So, this concludes my unboxing of my Hubwerk organ. I hope you'll stick around to the channel and consider subscribing if you want to hear uh, some more organ music and have a great day.